DaVinci Resolve Studio 17, one of the most popular professional video editors, now enables third-party plugins. The main concept codec plugin was the first enabled by Blackmagic Design because of the useful feature set it offers video professionals. Main concept is known for having the largest and most compatible list of codecs and formats in the industry, making this a powerful new combination. With the main concept codec plugin, you can render projects into professional camcorder formats like many from Sony and Panasonic. This means you can natively ingest and work in the same format without intensive conversion beforehand. You can use generic HEVC, main and main 10 presets in up to 8K. It also allows you to create compliant AS11 UK DPP content directly from DaVinci Resolve with simple presets and metadata handling. This eliminates the need for separate applications to create DPP compliant content, allowing you to stay in DaVinci Resolve as you edit and output projects. Here I have a new media file. I want to create a DPP HD file, so under project settings I've selected 1920 to 2080 HD. Now I'll show you how to render and export a project by switching to the Deliver tab in DaVinci Resolve. After installing the main concept codec plugin, when you click on the Format dropdown, you'll now see four additional main concept selections. This is where you can access the additional functionality enabled by the plugin. For example, if you select MXF under the Format dropdown, under the Codec dropdown, you now find the wider range of Sony and Panasonic professional camcorder presets. Under Type, you find the individual presets used to export your project. Back under the Format dropdown, you can also now select AS11. With this selected, from the Type menu, there are now two available presets, HD and SD. This feature is only available if you integrate the main concept codec plugin with DaVinci Resolve. You now also have the ability to change some codec specific settings. In this case, I'll choose AS11 UK DPP HD. Something else unique that comes with this plugin is specifying an external XML file for the encoding session. With this, the metadata content is added to the output file during rendering. When you download the main concept codec plugin, the product documentation comes with a sample XML file that can be used and edited in a regular XML editor. Once edited, you can copy this file to DaVinci Resolve input prompt. Now the project is ready to be rendered, but first I will give it a proper file name. DPP HD Tutorial. Next, I'll click Add to Render Queue to select a folder where it should be rendered to. In this case, I'll select a quick folder and select. Now it's added to the Render Queue on the right side and I'll click Render. And that's it. Now let's check that the metadata has been written to the stream by using the Media Info tool. Here it is. It's an MXF file with ABC Intra, different audio channels, and here's the metadata. AS11 Core, the program title, and all the required metadata that needs to be available to create a valid DPP stream. Finally, I'll play back the stream. There it is, the DPP stream exported using the main concept codec plugin in DaVinci Resolve Studio 17.